if this was only the Kingpin Wilson Fish show. With the strong white man running the thing and the town and the drugs and the show. Instead of the queen pin. Can you, in fact, sign queen pin? Is that a thing? She apparently did. Can uh, yeah. king pin be signed? <clears throat> I don't think so. Does anyone actually call him the king pin? Why would, where did she come up with Queen Pin from? Also, is she actually related to him? No. She's no. not. Her dad. So we're talking about Marvel's Echo. And we finally, well, finally, we watched the whole season, five episodes. We reviewed episode one and two. Well, I did up here. We also reviewed it in our podcast. Mm. Our reviews will kill you. But we're talking about the full season. So spoilers abound because there's not much to spoil here. Echo, Maya Lopez. Uh, so you were asking, is she related to Wilson Fisk? I guess she's not. She's his adopted niece. Essentially, her father, who gets banished from his Choctaw tribe in what, what, what was that, Oklahoma? Wakanda. And uh, so he gets banned from there. And she is basically raised by him they don't really go into great detail on this other than he beat up a ice cream man for screaming at a that deaf was girl. great though i like that, that was part. real stupid could you imagine any if the girl's got money why would you scream at her like what why if you're an ice cream man you literally make 50 also cents. you have pictures of what treats you have she would just point to it and yeah it. none of that made sense yeah. at all and then i did enjoy the kingpin beating him, but over ice cream that she could have pointed to. And then the girl was like, I'm going to kick him too. Well, okay. That's She's the, a piece of shit. Yes. That is my premise is that all these woke goofballs associate with the villains. At what point does she redeem herself in this show? She gives powers to other strong women. So she's a villain the entire time. She's never not a villain. She kills even kingpins like... Oh, you knew exactly what you were getting into, and you killed all of those men for me. L like, she's a murderer. When does she get redeemed? Because, you know, it's so bizarre contrasting her to Daredevil and making her a Daredevil villain because... Is she a Daredevil villain? Yes. Wait, so she's, she's a villain. She's not a hero. Correct. So here she is working, uh, you know, working for Wilson Fisk... And she's a villain. And first of all, at what point do you think that she had, like, are, are, did they show her training to be amazing? No, she's just great. She was, as a little kid, she shows up and she's like, she takes karate lessons as a little kid. I'm like, okay, those are your qualifications. And then she's boxing as an adult. Yeah. That's your qualification. There was to be no as, reason she was super strong. As good as Daredevil? Especially being deaf and handicapped. Yeah, none of those things make sense. It would be cool if she had like a gun in her leg or a knife or like anything. Or but the, I thought she had the Daredevil echolocation powers. No. Yeah, in the story, her real powers is she can mimic any movement that she could see. So if she sees Daredevil fight, she could hold him off with her own ability to mimic him, right? She might not be as strong as him, but she can mimic his moves, which I think is all right, right? Yeah. That makes some kind of sense. But she they literally show no training. She goes toe to toe with Daredevil in her first crime where she kills people. The first time she kills a man, she goes toe to toe with Daredevil. How does that make sense? Did you see how bad that fight scene was? It was it was pretty bad. She shoots him in the he jumps in the air and she shoots at nothing with a with a shock a, like sawed off shotgun and what about the part where he like she like slides on the ground to kick him and doesn't even hit him and then tries to do another kick and he grabs her leg and like hits it with his baton you're telling me that he has batons and hitting her in the face doesn't do anything no it's fine it's fine she's strong she is strong whammon well just to take a look real quick on the Rotten Tomato meter, 73%. This is all bought and paid for. None of this is real. Just like the show is barely real. 
Um, the other thing I don't understand is I watched Hawkeye and you did not. It seems pretty clear to me that Ronan, Hawkeye, kills the Daredevil's... Or he kills Kingpin's henchmen, right? You watch the flashbacks in the show a little yeah. bit, right? Yeah. You see him killing all of the people in that shop, right? Wait, who? Ronan. Uh, Hawkeye. He No, I thought the only part he's in there is where he's like, your father was killed by Bisk. Yeah, but he, you literally watch him stabbing every single person in that shop. In Hawkeye? Yes. Oh. And in the in the re- in the recap of the show. Okay. There's a part where he is like going. He go. He breaks into that. Was that a scene that, from Hawkeye? Yes. That's why I said like the show is really. It's only four episodes. In so reality. that was Echo in just one episode of Hawkeye. Uh no, she was in a cup. She was in like episode three, four, and five. Why was she in that many? I don't know. She was, she's like the boss at some point that Hawkeye runs into, and then Hawkeye fights her, and is he he whoops her, and then is like, "You're not my enemy. You should. I shouldn't be fighting you." And, but he says like Wilson Fisk is the one who ordered the kill on it on her dad. But is that because Ronan works for for Fisk? Like, that wasn't very clear. I, I didn't understand. Because Ronan goes in and he stabs every single person in that building. And then he's like, well, I didn't stab your dad. I mean, I was the guy with the sword. And he's <laughs> clearly been stabbed. But, I mean, he was stabbed by someone else. Not me. Which doesn't make any sense. So, anyway. I mean, this show is written by literal clowns. So, none of that makes sense. So let's move on. What are the three takeaways from Marvel's Echo? Uh, did you like her costume? What? The costume was nothing. I, exactly. Oh, by the way, this is under Marvel Spotlight, so it's a different continuity than the MCU. Did you know that? Even though they had the... the ref- so then Hawkeye is Marvel Spotlight. I, dude, I don't know. I guess so. They're like, they're not... It do- they're like, what do we do with this crap how do we make this make sense yeah it was done there was no story continuity there was no anything no it's why terrible. wasn't Haley steinfeld in there looking hot mm, don't know uh the other problem they had with the show is uh so they're they're not sure whether or not daredevil on netflix is is part of the continuity no, they, too. i think they said it is it is but i mean uh, who knows also so is the defenders apparently so all of it yeah, the uh, the defenders is added to MCU canon. No, it's added to Spotlight. It's not added to the MCU. Uh, no, I think it's it's. It. First of all, nothing happens to the defenders, so it doesn't matter. That's true. The show is irrelevant. Yeah. D- now Daredevil ep- uh, seasons one, kind of two, and three. I get what was it? Only three seasons? I think it was. Eh. Well, Daredevil's very good. One, season one and season three are the best. And then season two is a little like the Punisher part is good. The part with uh, what's that girl's name? I didn't even watch season three. Well, you suck. So because I knew it was canceled. So I was like, why am I watching this? It was good. Yeah, it had it its no... own ending. Did it? Yes. What about how did you feel about biscuits? But now he's going to be born again. Oh, that's going to be terrible. Who's going to be bi- who's biscuits? Do you remember her, her, her like buddy? First of all, how does every single person in this town know no sign language? That is true. There's a lot of signing. Nobody knows that much sign language, and and she yells at Wilson Fisk for not. She's like, "You're too lazy to learn sign language," and I'm like, "Bitch, you're too lazy to learn how to read lips." No, that's true. Most yeah. most deaf people know how to read lips. Yeah, you would think she would have learned how to do that by now. Read him. Be- yeah, because he puts like a thing in her eye so that he signs to her, which is ridiculous. Because at the end of Hawkeye, she shoots him in the face. Wait, and a Hawkeye that happens? Yes. At the end of Hawkeye, all of the recaps, use all of the, the, the flashbacks that had Hawkeye or, or Wilson Fisk were all from Hawkeye. All of them. That's what I'm saying. Only 20 minutes of the first episode. So wait, him... Wilson Fisk was in Hawkeye? Yeah. Uh-huh. It's Haley Steinfeld beats him up. Beats Wilson Fisk up. Yes. It's super so stupid. So that's where he's hobbling out. That's because Haley Steinfeld yes. beat him up. Exactly. That's why he's hobbling. Not because Hawkeye beat him up. Because Haley Steinfeld beat him up. 
And then... And also, how do you not die from getting shot in the fucking head? Sometimes the bullet is... The caliber is not big enough. Although, doesn't she fix his eyesight by the end? Spoilers. Who? She repairs his eyesight. She heals it. Does she? Yeah. His eyesight was fine. and No, he was still blind in one eye. No, he took it off. It looked like no, it was he was fine. No, it wasn't. Why would you wear an eye patch if your eye was fine? I don't know. Why don't you wear an eye patch? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Then you'd be cool like Wilson Fisk. Wow, 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 wow. No? Wow. At just five episodes, the fal- finale's time not even running, reaching the 40-minute mark. It's the shortest series to date. Thank God. It was garbage. It was absolutely terrible. Maybe she'll be in Daredevil. <coughs> Hopefully. 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 More, uh, more battles. No. Thank you. Born no. again battles. Born again. Yeah. The Return of the Kingpin. Whatever, man. Like none of it. I, I, and it's so, f- it's abusing to me because Vincent D'Onofrio, like he loves this character. He loves playing Kingpin. He works really hard. I actually thought the scene with the hammer was very emotional. I like that scene. Okay. He hands her the hammer that yeah, he that beat good. his father to death yeah. with. And then she acts completely flat and is like, I ate too much. <laughs> uh huh. So all that doesn't make any. That I want to hammer them Twinkies. <laughs> she does hammer them Twinkies. Poor girl. Yeah. She doesn't. She doesn't deserve it. Uh, she couldn't hear people telling her to stop. Just stop eating. Hey, death joke. Yes. Uh, was it too woke? I don't know if it was too woke until the last episode. What was the woke in the last episode? The strong women power. The, the that powers pretty, that made no yeah. sense. The old lady beating up men. A nine-year-old yeah, woman all, is literally all the beating men. Toe people. Choctaw. Chocolate toe. Uh huh. We're like, I strong now because I she, strong women. She force pushed, force, force, force forcibly pushed her powers the on other people. Of the chocolate people into her. <laughs> that is weird. In that like whole, I, I okay. Here's something I have a problem with. They talk about Chaffa. Right, as she's like the the original uh, matriarch of the Choctaw people, Brown Jesus, where she holds up the cave is collapsing, oh, and that, she holds that's her the, goal. She's Super Saiyan Indian. What is her power though? How did she save them by turning them into humans? Don't know. It didn't make any sense. Did she save the, the literally the cave is collapsing on them? How did she save them? None I don't that, know. None of that shit made sense. What about the girl from like the 1800s who wanted to join the police? And they're like, nah, I'm going to train you how to shoot. I'm going to train you how to throw that stick thing and how to kill people. But you can't join the police because you're a whammon. Even though she literally got trained by her dad to do it. <laughs> it's like it's like giving the kid from, uh, you know, the kid from the, the Christmas story with the Imagine, if you will, the kid for the Christmas story who wants the uh, the BB gun. You'll shoot your eye out, right? He wants the Red Rider BB yeah. gun, mm-hmm. right? But they, everybody tells him to shoot his eye out. Let's pretend like his dad taught him how to use a BB gun. And they're like, nah, you can't have a BB gun, bro. The whole point is he doesn't have a BB gun. No one's ever shown him how to use it, so he almost shoots his eye out, Yeah. right? But she actually got trained how to use a gun how to throw things and then her dad's like nah you can't do that didn't make any sense no. and then she's she's a stone there's nothing likable about her she kicks the uh the ice cream man she kills she tries to kill a woodpecker yeah it was messed up yeah she's a she's an evil bee yeah she is kind of sh- well i didn't realize she was a villain i thought she was a hero no she's a villain she's a villain in hawkeye it's, it's funny. I'm so proud to be able to represent a platform that is uplifting voices and in indigenous people. Yeah, what We're doing it the bitch? right way. The voices. Who herself is deaf, indigenous, and an amputee. Look how pretty she looks here. They couldn't have she made her a little more attractive. Doesn't look pretty, but okay. She looks all right. She looks better than the show. Yeah. Ex- okay. So they f- make her look ugly on the show. Yeah. And none of the skating things uh, made, like make skating great again. What? what was that about? Did you miss that sign? It said me, me, make skating great again. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I remember that. Yeah, and what yeah. about the racism in it? I don't remember the racism. Okay. So there's a part where she's like, she's talking to Chula, her her grandmother. 
right? And I also want to point out at the very end of the show, they're all having a party about how great um, she Women is. Are. Did you notice that that uh, Kingpin had to affirm how fantastic Echo was? He's like, "You are a great warrior, Echo." Which there's no evidence of that, but that's fine. At the very end, they're having like a party. Okay. They didn't invite the old man. The old man wasn't there. The grandfather? Yeah. I didn't. I don't think it was their grandfather, but yeah, they didn't invite him because they're bigots. <laughs> they didn't want to invite he the white. No, I don't know. Maybe who knows? How are they bigots if they're? Because they because they don't like men. Oh. Bigot sandwiches. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, that's right. Which is a women party. Yes. I no, but the the cousin, the one, uh, uh, biscuits was there, and then the other cousin was there. The cousin who's the so guy. How is it? Misogynist, dude. dude I, why did they invite him? I don't know. Okay, all right. So let's talk about the racism part. So the mom, um, Echo's grandma, is giving birth to her mom, and she's like, "I was in a white hospital, and the white devils." Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> she literally said it. So they're like, "You're gonna go give birth in the forest." I want to point out that giving birth in the forest in the rain is not what. So what you're telling, in, 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 you know, indigenous women across the, the the country of the United States is, don't give birth in modern white hospitals. Go out in the woods and give birth and <laughs> hope that a midwife do, you don't die giving birth, because you know that was one of the like most revolutionary things in humankind is having hospitals where you can give birth so instead of dying while you give birth you know that's one of the biggest reasons of of the reason why people quote unquote live longer they don't actually live longer they just don't die at birth and women don't die during childbirth one of the great advances of human civilization is modern medicine but they're like Nah, we don't need modern medicine. Our ancestors will make sure that we give birth properly in the woods in the rain. Absolutely. Does that sound like it makes any damn sense at all? All the rain dancing made the babies safe. That that was the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. It just sounds like a bunch of bigoted white liberals. The white man. The white liberals. Anyway, uh, very diverse cast. And I didn't, I th like I said, I thought all the actors were fine. You could tell a good story here. They just don't know how to write. They're completely ridiculous. Uh, so what else was terrible about this? <clears throat> Basically everything. Yes. It was horrible. I, I did not Except like it. Except for uh, Fisk. Yeah. He, he was I, cool. It could have been the Wilson Fisk show and I would have been better. Yeah. I'll briefly, and, and just look at this image. Can you see? This is her from Hawkeye on the left. This is what the character's supposed to look like. Hot Mama Sita. Yeah. And then we get round faced, I eat too many Krispy Kremes. Yes. What is going on here? So Screen Rants is the, the 10 biggest changes, and we'll end on this. So what do they change? She's not, she's part of the Choctaw Nation instead of the Blackfeet Nation because according to the writers, the Blackfeet Nation wasn't authentic Indian enough. They needed the Choctaw people instead. Racist. Is that not you? Apparently, it's like saying, "Oh, Iron Man." You know, I don't like the fact that he's a drunk. I'm gonna make him not a drunk. Maybe he's just addicted to uh, Adderall. Does that make more sense? Because you know, there's a bad stigma stigmatism with drunks. Yeah. So I'm gonna make him addicted to Adderall. Does that make sense? Yeah. Does that mean you still like the character? No. No, it means you hate the character. Echo has connections to Wolverine in the comics. What? He, he I don't know. He teaches her Japanese customs. Who cares? Uh, she becomes Ronin. Uh, okay, sure. Spoilers. That means she dies. Uh, she has a brief relationship with Hawkeye, but 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 isn't Hawkeye uh married with kids? That doesn't make sense. Echo's father was killed when she was a child in the comic book, so not killed by Ronin or Wilson Fisk or whoever. Kingpins killed Echo's father directly in the... Oh, okay. Well, I guess she did do that. Who knows? I love you, Maya. 
I did feel very s sad about that. Oh, Maya was given a more privileged upbringing? More privileged than being the daughter of the kingpin. How do you get more privileged? He literally tries to bring her in a, a, like a fancy bottle of wine and a nice meal, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. That's pretty privileged. She pours the wine out in the sink. Echo does not have her signature handprint. Don't know why. Uh, she she gets around. She also does Daredevil. Jesus, this girl, she banks. Echo's abilities are different. She has glowing hands in this one and the power yes. of strong whammon. That was probably the dumbest thing I've ever seen. It was pretty dumb. Have you ever seen powers dumber than that? Mm -hmm. Do you know like kids run around and they're like, I want to be Wolverine with like claws or I want to be like Magneto. And, sure. and one of the cool things about comic book characters is like, oh, who defeats who? Like, how do you defeat Magneto? You put him in a plastic jail, right? Mm -hmm. how, do you, how, you know, how do you defeat any specific, you know, what's cool about Batman? Batman knows how to defeat every member of the Justice League with like some kind of trick. A, what are Echo's powers? And B, how do you defeat them? Like what, she's the power of strong whammon. She does. Doesn't make any sense. The strongest. It's very stupid. So anyway, uh, did you love Mar? Did you loved Echo? Didn't you? Loved it so much. Loved. You want a second season? Wanted her to be browner, deafer, and more <laughs> handicapped. You want her to be more next deaf season? No legs. Say both legs. No legs. Can't see or hear. <laughs> Take her eyes away. Her hands and <laughs> knees glow. Because <laughs> there's no feet, obviously. Double double amputee. <laughs> Yeah, what about double amputee representation? Yeah. I feel like this discriminates against double amputees. It does. So let us know what you think in the comments below. In the meantime, catch our podcast. You can catch it on Stitcher, Spotify. I don't know why I start with Stitcher, but iTunes, all those places for free. Please subscribe. We would, we would greatly appreciate it. And uh, we do live stream here on YouTube, our friendly neighborhood YouTube at 7.30 p.m., Eastern Standard Time, unlike Geeks and Flicks, who are going directly to Instagram and only Instagram. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we love all y'all. And by the time you see Noob Noob next, he will be dead. We're on to the next one. Uh -huh.